There's a bevy of iOS rumors, some mention Beats Music and even iOS 9. Microsoft has some good and bad news to share with all of us. And believe it or not, LG has just landed its own VR headset, but the LG way. I'm Jaime Rivera, and a word of warning, new studio, audio checks, lighting checks, some things may not look well, but we're still trying. This is Pocket Now Daily, brought to you by lynda.com. The official news today have to do with uh, Microsoft, and these could be good and bad. First of all, on the good side, the company has already shared their presentations for an event to happen on March 1st in MWC in Barcelona, and we will be there covering everything live. Uh, we're not expecting any hot loomies here, but uh, we could be wrong. But sadly, the bad news, if we could say it that way, is that apparently trusted sources claim that uh, the company is preparing for Windows 10 RTM released to manufacturing to be ready by June. So that means that we'll have the official version of Windows 10 much later than that, meaning that, uh, yeah, that is exactly the same month when WWDC 2015 happens for Apple. We'll even know exactly how Apple is going to prepare for its next version of OS 10, uh, you know, and just giving Microsoft whatever purpose it had for Windows 10 down the drain. But anyways, we'll see about that. Now let's move the spotlight over to Apple. We are still waiting for the company's build for the Apple Watch, which was supposed to be iOS 8.2, and uh, now we have iOS 8.3 beta reaching developers with uh, new emoji features, new two-step verification for the Google services, which is okay. But uh, even more interesting, we even hear that there is an iOS 8.4 in the works. And apparently this iOS 8.4 will have a lot to do with Apple's new music service new music service. They're not talking about Beats integration, or it could be that this is going to fall under a new name or whatever the case may be. We'll keep you posted on that since we have even more news for iOS. And that's right, the next news have to do with Apple's iOS 9 reports claim that the company is already working on it, but that this new version of iOS will be less about features, more about stability. Sort of like what Snow Leopard was for OS 10, if you remember, uh, they had moved into a new architecture and this was the operating system to polish everything. Apparently that's going to be the case given all the changes with iOS 7, iOS 8, and all the bugs that we've had to put up with. And it's such an oddity given that iOS has always been famous for stability, and now we're going to have to receive a software update just to bring us what it's supposed to be famous for. Let's see what we get with iOS 9 as uh, there is a lot to come. And if there are still people out there crazy for a OnePlus One and you haven't received an invite from your fans on Twitter like I have, thank you very much guys. I've given up on the OnePlus One, by the way, but uh, anyways, if you are still interested, you can get it invite free, wait for it, as of Tuesdays. That means that from here going forward, you can order it for 24 hours without an invite every single Tuesday. This is probably the most ridiculous way to sell a phone ever, but uh, if you're still interested, again, there is a way to do it without the invite. Uh, great news for some. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, LG has just launched its own VR headset. It's being dubbed the VR for G3, meaning it works for the G3. And uh, what makes this product cool, even though it's kind of ugly and it looks archaic, is that it's completely free. Apparently, it'll be available on certain markets whenever you buy a G3, which is great. Uh, the problem is, this is not really a Gear VR. Uh, it is in a way, but it's not. Yes, it follows the whole Google Cardboard design, meaning it's pretty much something made basic, you know, not as sophisticated as the Gear VR. But then again, for the price tag, it doesn't really matter, you know, because not very many people are going crazy for the Gear VR anyways. This is really an interesting approach from LG. Again, it's a free accessory. We don't know if it will be compatible with current G3s, but it does lead me to the question of the day. What do you think about these virtual reality headsets? Do you like them and would you like to buy them or have you tried one and what do you think? Leave us a comment down below because in my case, I would love it for gaming, but I'm still skeptical. Leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And folks, if you've ever wanted to learn how to play a music instrument, build your own website, or hey, even build a video like this one, there are thousands of awesome courses at our sponsor, lynda.com slash pocket now. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash pocket now for a free 10-day trial. And you also know the drill if you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed. Make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.